let us go to another form of very important part of painting mood mood can be jubilous mood can be full of sorrow but in both the cases while the painter doing the painting he or she depicts his own mood on the particular canvas for an example if we take this painting once again as we have talked about this particular painting related to some different uh, perspective rather again i am taking this particular painting on this particular point mood as we can see the beautiful bright colors over here throughout the canvas it itself depicting it itself representing the mood of the artist the artist who had made this particular painting perhaps was in a very good mood when he was doing this particular painting it could have been a dark shades it could have been with lots of dark colors if the particular artist was not in a very good mood so all this paintings depicts the mood of the particular artist when he is in sorrowful mood obviously the color of the paintings the texture of the paintings will change here we can see the beautiful textures with green with blue with yellow these are all beautiful colors jubilant colors which actually depicting the jubilant mood of the artists in other cases there might be some paintings which would actually depicts the sorrowful uh, uh the sorrowful uh mentality of the artist when he is in deep a grave grave condition he is not in a good mood but these are the moods which actually helps the artist to create something whenever artist in a good mood or in a bad mood he tries to depict that particular mood on the canvas and in that way a painting has been created so as i have talked about mood of the artist mood which creates the painting which helps to create the painting rather than say this particular word here comes another part of very interesting form of painting which is very much related to mood the mythological part the mythological part of india as well as mythological part of european countries mythology always have played a very important role in the form of painting as i have said epic epic has played always a very important role in painting in india as well as in europe during the period of renaissance so artists they have uh, recreated rather the epical uh, incidents by their own in their own form in their own views in their own mood as well as with their own colors in europe as well as in india we will talk about it gradually epics always have played a very important part in the form of painting as i have said before now the folk art which is a very important part of painting as far as indian paintings are concerned but at the same time in europe they also have their form of folk art but let us start with the indian form of painting the folk art as it has been depicted in the painting with different moods well epic as i have said again epic is coming over here in a different form all of us know about the famous painter chamini roy he has i would say has because though he is no more but he is still alive within ourselves through his painting through his creations here is a painting of jamini roy a famous painting of jamini roy krishna and balram the epical character mythological character 
see how the whole characters have been depicted in form of painting. It is a folk form gathered in Bengal. We call it as a photo chitra. This particular photo chitra has been transformed into a form of painting of his own, which depicts the mythological character in a very sublime, rather I would say God is the same word, manner with colors, with compositions, with space divisions and everything. Now, as I have told before, the mood, the sorrow or the jubilancy of a painter is, is always being depicted in, in, in his or her painting. Here we can see the beautiful colors in this particular painting. The yellow ochre, the uh, cobalt blue, white, a little bit of touch of green. All these colors are very jubilant colors. That means when the painter, when he was painting this particular painting, rather this is, it has become uh, uh, somewhat like a rhyming words, painting the particular painting. He was in a very good mood. This particular painting is actually creating a very jubilant atmosphere within ourselves, those who are viewing this masterpiece of Jamini Roy. This particular painting was been made by Raja Ravi Varma. Most of the art lovers, they know this particular name because on this particular great painter, a biopic was been made. Raja Ravi Varma has again taken the epical rather mythological characters as his subject in this particular painting. Those who have gone through Ramayana, they must have known these particular characters. Ravana, Shita as well as Jatai. See how this particular composition has been created with curves. As I have told before, the painting always represents the sorrowful or jubilous mood of a painter. Here, the painter has created a sorrowful uh, atmosphere, rather when Shita was being uh, taken away, rather being forcefully taken away by Ravana. That particular situation is not being taken, not being uh, uh, called as a very joyful moment. So here, the use of colors, the master use of colors has already created that particular atmosphere. See the dark colors, see the dark shapes, see the uh, formation of a painting, see the space divisions. All of it has created that particular sorrowful moment of that particular incident, what had happened as we have read in the Ramayana. Now, let us put these two paintings side by side. Two maestros of Indian painting, Jamini Roy, Raja Ravi Varma. In this particular painting, we can see the mythological character Sri Krishna and Balram in a very good mood, with a very jubilant form, with a very uh, rather gorgeous uh, depiction of this particular mythological character. Again, in this particular painting, Raja Ravi Varma has taken the help of mythological character, but he has depicted the sorrowful part of this particular incident and have created a great masterpiece which we call the elopement of Sita by Ravana. Friends, as we are talking about the uh, mood of the, of the artists, of course, while doing painting, as I have said before, the mood of the paintings are always being depicted on the, on the canvas by the artist. As we have seen in this particular painting of Jamini Roy, in this particular painting of Raja Ravi Varma, in these both paintings, one, the jubilant mood of the artist has been represented. In another case, the rather a melancholy or a morose mood of the artist have been depicted through the mythological characters. Now, 
as far as the paintings are concerned, the mood of the artists changes. It is said that artists are the most, uh, 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 as far as recipients are concerned, the moody uh, uh, creatures in the world. So sometimes artists change over from mythological character to normal characters that we generally find in our daily life. For, for an example, a little girl going through the road, a beautiful woman walking uh, uh, through the road or standing on the veranda, that also can be the subject of an artist. But we will talk about this particular thing later on. Let us take another mythological character, which is an universal mythological character, on which the European artists as well as the Indian artists have worked a lot Jesus Christ so as I have talked about the famous mythological character rather we all are uh, uh, very much familiar with this particular character Jesus Christ in Europe on Jesus Christ lots of paintings have been done in different form in different moods but in India lots of artists have done uh, paintings on Jesus Christ. Here is a beautiful painting of a famous master painter of India, Wasim Kapoor, who has depicted Jesus Christ on his canvas. And again, I'm coming back to that particular word, mood. Here again, he has depicted Jesus Christ in that mood where he has been just before the crucifixion when the torture on Jesus Christ was going on, the thorned crown was being placed on his head. The colors in this particular painting itself shows the gloomy mood of the artist. Perhaps he was feeling the pain of Christ within himself. And that is why he has created this particular painting in that way. So once again, I would rather repeat the word mood of the artist is one of the most important part of creating a painting so as we have discussed all the way painting of Jamini Roy painting of uh, Raja Ravi Varma and of course here again the painting of Vasim Kapoor all has create, uh, represented the mood jubilant or the morose one and that particular mood of the painters through colors have been depicted on the particular paintings.